What's going on guys, Thomas Garretts here, and this video is actually episode two of the Print On Demand series, where I show you how to make money with Print On Demand. And don't worry if you have no idea what Print On Demand is, I'll explain that in just a minute, but all you need to know right this second is that you can use Print On Demand to make money with no money, without having an audience on social media, and without creating any content. And I know you may be like, oh, that sounds too good to be true, yada yada yada, but trust me, me. This is 100% legit. However, make sure you watch every second of this video because if you skip ahead or leave early, you're going to miss out on key steps that will show you exactly how to do this method. And with that being said, just make sure to smash the like button and let's get into the video. All right, so like I said, I'm going to show you how to make money with print on demand. And if you have no idea what print on demand is, here's a quick 30 second explainer from episode one. Print on demand is this process where you work with a print on demand company and you simply upload a design and they have tons of different merchandise that you can print that label or that design on. Like I'm talking literally anything from clothing, bags, coffee mugs, masks, etc. And then what's cool is that specific print on demand company you're working with, when someone purchases one of your merchandise, what they do is they print it on demand, right? So they print it whenever someone purchases and they deal with the payment processing. They host the website, they send the product out and obviously they print the product for you and then you just get a cut of the sale. Okay, so now that you understand what print on demand is, we're gonna be using Spreadshop as the print on demand company who was also kind enough to sponsor this series. And if you didn't see episode one, basically I showed you how to create your own merch designs and then create your own shop like I did right here. So this is my shop on Spreadshop. And you can also see the merch right below the YouTube video that I have on right here. But the problem with having your own shop is that you either need to create content or run paid ads to get people to your shop to actually make sales. So in today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to also make designs but make them much quicker. And then instead of having your own shop, we're gonna create our own showroom on Spreadshop's marketplace called Spread Shirt. That way you don't need to create content or pay for paid ads or anything like that because they already have 3 million monthly visitors who are waiting to purchase your designs if you do this properly. And don't worry, I'll even show you a way where you can get all of your designs created for you from someone else and they'll do it for super, super cheap. However, before you do any of this, you still have to create your own Spreadshop account for free. And you can simply go down to the description below and click the first link in the description. And then you'll end up on this page right here. And then you just click open a Spreadshop. Now the shop name really doesn't matter right now because you can change that. You can see right here, you can change this at any time. Plus we're not gonna actually be using a shop. So that really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna name it test. You can name it whatever you want. And then you just put in your email and password and then click get started now. And once you've created your account, this is the back office. Okay, this is exactly how it will look with a brand new account. And it kind of shows you a checklist about which order you should do it in. But actually, I want to go in a different order if it's going to let us. But I want to first show you some examples of what we're going to be doing and how we can actually one up these people to make way more money than they're making. Check this out. So if we're on Spreadshop right here and then we just scroll down and click on like a random person's shirt, right? So you can see it's this shirt by this. So if we click on them, it will take us to their showroom. And as you can see, they literally have nothing here. They don't have a profile picture, they don't have a description or a bio, and they don't have a cover image either. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make ours look much better and we're gonna do this in a very specific way. And one thing I do wanna mention that is actually super important as well is if you look at their designs, they have stuff about Huskies, Staten Island, Long Island. So there's really no niche. It looks like, I guess, kinda they're doing like uh, places, which is maybe a little bit of a niche. But what I suggest and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go specific in a niche and build out our whole showroom around that because then if someone's interested in one of your designs, they're interested in most or all of your other designs. You know what I mean? And you could do this around any type of niche, outdoors, memes, bikes, cars, tons of different things. But for this exact strategy, we're personally gonna do text-based designs just because they're much easier to create you can create them much faster plus it's easier for someone else to create them for you at a much cheaper rate 
So let's go back over here and then it says create products, but we're gonna do that after if it lets us, so let's try it that way. But we're gonna choose our username because that's what's actually gonna show up as our showroom name. Okay, so right here, username. Let's do like the funny or the memes. So let's do like a meme shirt central. Okay, so that that's fine. We'll apply that continue. It's telling us to create our products, but I want to see if it will let us do this first. So it looks like we can. Okay, so we'll create the product second. And what I want to do is I want to build this out first, just because I think it's going to be easier. And then from there, I can tell you how to make the designs if that makes sense. And I do want to mention really quick that you can easily hire someone on Fiverr to create all these photos and like a profile picture or logo for you. But I promise you that the tool we're going to use, which is Canva, is super simple. Like I'm talking, if you can type a document, you can use Canva. Plus, I'll be walking you through it step by step and giving you templates for each of the designs. So it's going to be super simple, I promise. And if you don't already use Canva, you can go down to the resources and click the Canva Pro free trial. And I highly suggest getting the free trial for 30 days. They do have a free plan, which you definitely can use, but I'm going to be showing you a feature later on in this video that only the pro account has that makes this all much, much easier. So I'd suggest at least using it for the 30 days. You can cancel it at any time. But yeah, so just sign up for that. And then I already have an account. So starting off, we're going to start with our profile picture or our logo. And I already have a template right here that I used for like my YouTube profile picture on a video I did. And this is just 800 by 800, but this will work just fine. So basically I have a circle right here and that will like outline the circle of the profile picture. So you can delete that or however you want, but I think it helps make your profile picture pop or your logo pop. And then I just suggest using like text as your logo. So there's a couple different ways to do it, but let me explain kind of how Canva works real quick. Okay, so if you wanted to delete the circle right now, this is the circle we have clicked. So you can hit backspace and delete it. Control Z or these little arrows to go back to how you want it. Now, because this is like taking up the whole thing right here, we can move it and then click the green background and then change the background color to whatever you want. So we'll just do like light blue, okay? I'm personally gonna use this circle so you can put it back perfectly aligned like that or you can go to position up here and then go align to page middle now, with the text, I personally use different text for each word if they're separate words. That way you can make them different sizes each and it's just easier in my opinion. Or what you can do is you can just use like the first letter of each thing, but I'll show you how to start from scratch. So literally you go over here to text, add a heading, and then to resize it, you just go like that. And then what you want to do, like I said, is you want to type it the way you want it. Okay, so what was it called? It was meme shirt central. So it could be like m.s.c. So that could be your logo. And then you could change it, the, the font. We'll just use Anton. And then you can make it bigger. So you could do something like that. That's one way, okay? If you wanted to kind of do it like how I had with the other way, what we could do is we could just move this up, make it a little smaller. So we'll do meme. Then you can click right here, go to these dots, and then click this. That'll duplicate it. Or you can just copy and paste it. Okay. So whatever you want to do. So meme, shirt, copy, paste, central. So I don't think this way looks any good just because central is much bigger. Maybe you could do something like put central in the middle because it's like central, right? Like a little play on words, something like that. And then the last way I guess you could do is something like do meme, center it, do another one, make it smaller, and then do shirt central. And then you just pull this. So something like that. And then you select both, you hold shift, click, and then center it like that, center it to the center like that. And that could be your logo, right? I would probably make meme a little bigger, probably a little smaller actually. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't have to be perfect. So those are just a couple different ways that you could do it. And also before we download it, I do want to mention that you can just go to file and then make a copy and this will copy the whole thing. That way you have your own. So then I would suggest just going here and renaming it, whatever your logo is. So meme shirt central logo. 
and then we'll hit download PNG and then this is page two. So go to page two and done and then hit download. And then there we go, we got ours. So we'll just put this onto the desktop right here. And then we can go back to our Spreadshirt showroom right here and we can click add right here and then add our profile. And it takes a little second for that to work for some reason. I don't know why, but it, it does show up. So there you go, it is there. And you can see it looks pretty good, right? But if you want like a legit logo, you can use the link down below and go to Fiverr and someone will make it for 20 bucks. They look pretty good from that guy. I haven't personally used them, but they look good. So 20 bucks, not bad. But now we want to upload our cover photo right here and it's 1400 by 255. So let's go back to Canva and then on the home page, you go right here to create design, custom size. So 1400 by 255, create new design. So I would personally literally just go over to our thing right here, take these, copy them into right here. I would probably just delete this one and then make this longer meme shirt central i would do something like that and then you could do something like make a little tag lined below it i'll probably make it into let's do like montserrat or like that one and then we could say something like Ch -ch -ch -ch, the one stop shop for the funniest meme shirts make it smaller like 40 maybe 35 there that, that's good so there you go and then we'll make this just a little bit smaller and then change the background to that blue color put this down a little bit center it and then we'll change this to white see how that looks and then you can also go right here to effects if you want to add like shadow this is what i do all the way to the left all the way to the right and then add black shadow so that looks a bit better, right? And you could copy and paste it, put it on top of each other. Something like that looks decent, okay? So let's go with that. Doesn't need to be perfect again. So then we'll call it meme shirt central cover image, download, PNG, download. Put that back on our desktop, go over here and upload it. And it takes a minute, we'll go over to our showroom, not bad. It's a bit big, it's a big big, but it's all right. The one-stop shop for the funniest meme shirts. Cool, looks good. Now, there's two other parts you can add. The description is the part we'll add first. So we'll just do something like, welcome to meme shirt central, where we have the newest, hottest, funniest, and dankest meme shirts around. Check out our collections below check out our lit collections below or something like that and then you can also add in um like these things what are those asterisks is that what those are no that uh, maybe i don't know but you can make it bold see how that looks yeah that looks good maybe we'll add in a uh, a pointing down emoji just to give it a little oomph <laughs> so I use a website pillapp.com and you can just like grab an emoji right here, copy it, go back here and then paste it and then apply. That looks pretty good, not gonna lie. All right, so then we'll save this for the next episode because that's how you add social media links and all that and we're not gonna talk about that in this one. But yeah, so look at this. Here, I'll visit showroom. So look at this compared to what it looked like when we first had it. This is basically like when we first had it, except with a profile picture, and this is with it now. So it looks much more built out and legitimate, right? So yeah, I like it. And you don't have to have this be bold, it really doesn't matter. I just did it to show you that you can do that. But now the last step is obviously creating our products and adding our designs. So if we click right here, you can see we have to upload our designs to begin creating products. And with this method that I'm teaching you, it's all about a numbers game. So we're gonna wanna be uploading anywhere from five to 15 designs every single day. Because the more designs you upload, the more chances there are for people to see your designs and then purchase your designs which in turn makes you more money, which is the goal. And not only will I be showing you how to create your designs super quickly, but I'll be showing you how to come up with popular design ideas that are proven to sell. But again, just know that 
you don't have to create these designs all by yourself. So if you can afford it, I'll have a link down below to this person on Fiverr, which you can get 50 text-based graphic t-shirts for $50. That's just a dollar per design. But if you can't afford that, don't worry, because we can again do this on Canva for free. And you already know how to use Canva, so I won't explain that too much, but I do wanna show you something that I haven't shown you yet. So just make sure you pay attention to this. But what you wanna do is you wanna create a 4,000 by 4,000 design because that'll give you the highest quality. And then there's a couple different ways to get design ideas. The first way and the most simple way is to go back to the homepage on Canva, type in t-shirt, go right here, and then they have tons of different t-shirt designs. So you can click on any of these and then what you would wanna do is you would wanna take this, copy it, go back to our 4,000 by 4,000, and paste it here and then just make it bigger. That way it's the the best for if you have a big design or a small design, it won't get pixelated or anything like that. So that's one way, but those aren't really like designs that are proven to sell. There's a super secret hack that you can use to do that. So you can go to websites like Etsy, Amazon, Spreadshirt even, and then what you do is you find these different designs with a good amount of reviews, and then you just make the same design but in a different way. So for example, I'll use Etsy. So what you wanna do is you wanna type in the keyword of your niche. So if you're outdoors, you type in outdoors shirts, or if you're motorcycle, you, you get the idea, right? So I typed in meme shirts, and I think I clicked here or something, but I ended up with this shirt, okay? Couple things about Etsy. Right here, the sales, this is their entire shop sales, okay? So not just for this shirt, but if you scroll down on some shirts, you'll see reviews for this item, and reviews for this shop. So 268 reviews isn't for the item, it's right here. It doesn't show on every design, but a lot of them it will show. So 43 for this item is pretty good. Plus you can like scroll down and see people leaving reviews for that item. So you know it's working well, right? So what we wanna do is we wanna recreate this by just changing a couple things, right? So you can use a different font and copy it word for word. Like for example, let me just take my people skills are fine and then type that into Etsy right here. Look at my people skills are fine. These are all different people, literally, okay? So they're doing exactly what I'm teaching you and it's working, okay? So I'll show you a way to do it where it's not, you're just not copying it word for word. You can just change out a couple words or change out the design a little bit, okay? Oh, and also if we go right here, you can see buyers are raving. Multiple people gave five star reviews to this shop in the past seven days. So you can go to their shop right here and then check out their other t-shirts and get ideas from that as well. But we're just gonna use this one because I don't wanna waste too much of your time on this, but we're gonna go back to Canva right here and not that one this one this is the 4000 by 4000 okay so i'm just going to get rid of this and you can use those templates from canva too use everything it's totally fine but we're going to go to text we're going to add a heading gonna make it like 150 maybe a little bigger but so what was it again it was my people skills are fine okay so that's what it said right my people skills are fine okay so what I want to do is I want to say my people skills are just fine. And then he had a period. What we're going to do is dot, dot, dot. So it's a little different, okay? But we're not just going to do one line. We're going to go right here, backspace, and then return. And then we're going to make the space right here a little less. So you click right here, line height. So we'll do like, like one. And then we'll make it a little bigger. My people skills are just fine, dot, dot, dot. And then what did they say? It's my tolerance to idiots that needs work. <laughs> okay, so then we'll go down here. It's my tolerance to idiots that needs work. Okay, so obviously we're gonna make this smaller. And then what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna put dot, dot, dot right there. So it like kind of continues off. And then the thing I didn't show you is if you go to elements right here and you type in like square, right? So we'll take this square right here and then we'll just kind of like put it around the bottom part right here. And then we'll make it black. We'll do something like that. So that's just pretty basic. And I'm trying to go quick with this so I don't waste too much of your time. But you could change up the fonts. You could do whatever. You could make it a different color. And that's that, right? So that's how I would do it. I would center it right there. 
Now, the, the reason I suggest using the pro account is what I'm about to show you. Okay, so first, what I wanna do is I wanna copy this design right here, and then I'm gonna make all of this white, okay? Well, I guess I gotta click on it individually, make it all white, but now you can't see anything, okay? But if we go to download right here, actually, we should name it again. We'll say, um, my people skills are fine, meme shirt. All right, so, the transparent background right here. You can see there's a crown right there. That's only available if you're a pro account, okay? So obviously you need that for page two, right? And if you just keep a white background on this and you put it on a black shirt or a, or a blue shirt, for example, it's like it's just a big white square. It looks terrible. So you wanna make sure that you do transparent background. Super important, okay? So transparent background download. And there's software out there that can get rid of it, but it's just an extra step. Plus most of those software costs money. Okay. But if we click here, you can see that the gray is obviously transparent. So there we go. And then I'll download the black one as well with transparent. So we'll do transparent page one download. Then I'll just drag these both right here. So there we go. Those are our first designs right there. All right, so the last step is we have to upload our designs. So we'll just click right here to browse and then we'll just do the white one first. And you can see it's being processed. So we'll upload our black design while we're waiting on it. So right there. All right, this one's done. So we're gonna hit edit. So what they do right here is they are original version. It's like a square. So they optimized it by cutting off the blank space basically. So we can put it in the position we want. So this is much better. Use the optimized version, confirm selection. And then we'll do the same thing for there. Select the optimized version. Now we're gonna click right here. And what it does is it instantly puts it on all these different designs, okay? So it's totally up to you. This is 100% your decision if you want a bunch of different types of designs or products, I mean, or if you just want it on like shirts, t-shirts, whatever you want, okay? So they have men's premium t-shirts, they have men's t-shirts, men's tall t-shirts you know they have a bunch of different ones they have women's baby clothings and if you go to all available products right here there's literally hundreds it's absolutely crazy but the nice thing about this is once you have like your set amount of products selected that you want i'll show you what you can do so for example i'm just gonna say that we just want like um, men's hoodie women's shirt Women's Kirby shirt, I think those are popular. Women's Floyd Ting shot, women's hoodie. We'll just do something like, like that, right? So whatever, so just for example, okay? Then what you wanna do is you wanna edit this and then you wanna change the colors. So you go to product color right here, okay? So you want to choose obviously black. You want that probably to be your display, your default display color. And then you can either get rid of all the colors except that or have all the dark colors, right? So I'm just gonna get rid of them all real quick. And then you can add like red, you can look at what it looks like, or just stick with just black, right? So this is totally up to you again. Check out your competition, see what they're doing and model off of that, okay? So let's say that we want our white designs to be on black, red, uh, royal blue, deep navy, and um, charcoal gray. Right, so I think maybe we'll get rid of red. It doesn't look great, but we'll stick with like those darker colors. Okay, so we'll hit apply. And then what you would wanna do is you would wanna do that to all of these. Okay, so I'm not gonna literally do that for every single one, but you would unselect all of the colors that aren't what we just talked about. So I'll do it again here real quick. I think I forgot what colors they were, but something like that. We'll hit apply or we'll make black the default color, hit apply. Okay, and then you would want, again, do that to all of them. And also, I guess I should show you, if you want like to move this to like further down or just leave it to how they had it or make it bigger or smaller, that's how you do it, okay? You can also go to print areas, move it to the back if you want, but obviously we're, we're leaving it on the front, okay? So once you've done that, you have it all, the colors selected and the areas selected. What you can do is you can go to product templates, okay? Save selection as template. So save this as white designs and dark colors. Save. 
So now what that does is let's hit next first. And then my people skills are fine. White design. A lot of people will add in like, um, like if you go to Etsy, they'll add in a bunch of keywords. So we'll do my people skills are just fine, dot, dot, dot. White design, funny. So I guess you can't really add in more to the description here, the name I mean, but for the description, you could add in a bunch of keywords. Like this shirt is the perfect funny meme shirt and would be a great gift for your boyfriend or something like that. Like those are keywords, right? People are typing in gift for your boyfriend or gift for my boyfriend or meme shirt, funny meme shirt, right? And then add in some tags here if you want and then hit create, okay? And then obviously fill this out, but let's get started now. Now you would obviously do the same thing for the black, except do it for the light colors and save it as a template. Then every time you upload a text-based design that's white, you go to upload more designs. And let's say that this is a new design right here. Okay, so this is a brand new design, different text, but it's white. Okay, so wait for it to be processed. Click the optimized version, confirm. So then we'll edit it. And then what you do is you just go to product templates you go right here to white designs and dark colors, hit apply, then it brings up all of your designs, puts it in the same position, same size, same color products, and same products, okay? So you only have to do all of that once and then save it as a template and you're good to go forever. Then it takes just a, a minute to upload each design. Okay, and that's literally all you do. You continue to upload designs, continue to do that, and Spreadshop and their millions of monthly visitors will do everything else for you. But remember, you have to stay consistent and continue uploading a ton of designs. It's a numbers game, all right? And that's pretty much all I got. Thank you to Spreadshop for sponsoring this series, and thank you to you guys for watching. I love you guys. Make sure to smash that like button, and I'll see you on the next video.